In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can change your cabin air filter in your car. This is on a 2003 Acura CL Type S, but majority of cars, you might be able to change it this way, but you might need to check your owner's manual or Google it if you don't have your owner's manual. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously open that bad boy up. What we're gonna be doing is, first off, we're gonna be taking this little spot right here out. So this right here is just simply going to stop it from falling because if that wasn't there, it'll fall straight down. And if you come around the side of it, you can see that it's uh, just a simple clamp on this car right here. So all I have to do is just push from this side over. And then once I push from that side, I can get that spot and move it out the way so it won't keep grabbing a hold on the back of that. You can kind of see it like right there. And then once you get it popped out, all you have to do is push in and get it to where it goes past the little spot back there. It's kind of hard to see, but then you just want to um, move it out the way so it doesn't catch when you try to open it. So, see, it's still catching, but if you just push it back up, you can, like, work it out. It's hard to do with one hand, but once you work it out, that's what you was trying to get it to stop being behind. With two hands, you'll just take the glove box and push it closed a little bit so you can come back past this and then you'll just turn it, twist it inside and then turn it around. So it'll pop right out and you can just set it down. Next, you wanna take out this screw right here and take out the same screw on the other side. If I said take out these screws, I lie. You don't need to take out those screws. You just need to pop this right here underneath and then you can move this out the way and then you can See the filter that's probably not been changed since you got this car. Mm. Yeah, that's probably been in there for multiple years, I'm pretty sure. And this is going to cause you not to have good airflow with your air conditioner, not filter out stinky stuff, also. Yeah, so. Not changing these can cause all sorts of different stuff. Plus, you're just breathing this in. Ew, I'm dropping stuff. But yeah, these need to be replaced. Obviously, they got bugs and stuff in it. Some more stuff in there, too. If you can do it, you might want to like try to stick a little thin vacuum hose in there and grab some of it out. But yeah, yeah. that's tough. Once you get back with the actual filter, you just want to pop it out. And when you pop it out, you can see where it says airflow this direction, but this has pull tabs right there. So I know that it just goes in like that. And then it has this spot right there. So that means that it just slides right there. I just slide it in. You can clean the size of this if you want to, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm not going to do that. It's entirely too high. And then I had to go to three different places just to get these filters. So yeah and if you look at the filter it might show which direction the airflow where it should be pointed it may be at the bottom but with this one it's on the side so you just want to match that with your actual filter so arrow that way arrow that way and then you just slide that bad boy in then once you added the new filter in you just slide them in just like you took them out and then just do everything in reverse basically i'm not going to make you watch it you put these on as far as the bottom parts of the glove compartment right there. Put those on one at a time, and then you just follow the steps. Still have to add this right here. And if it's wiggling or wobbling, you probably didn't tighten the screws up good enough, so please tighten those up. And there you have it. So I'll set them done. If this video helped you out, please thumb the like button. is greatly appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm weak. I just thought that there was rocks in this filter, but I realized that I set it on the ground out there. So when I looked at it, I was like, how is there rocks in it? That's crazy. But anyway. <laughs>